Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Winning the Weekly. I know I missed last week, and I hope this will come out on a fair enough time that this will help you get to the weekly if you're struggling with it for the frozen to the bone. I believe this is a, uh, let me go back here. This is the Fayborg card back. This is very cool. Go ahead and click in, see what the weekly modifiers are. Uh, first modifier is Frostfire. Burn deals cold damage and reduces fire and cold resistance by 3.3% per charge, which is really good for you. Intense Cold is Chill reduces speed by 1 per 4 charge instead of every 5. This is for both or both sides of the fight, so can get a little spicy on both sides. Prosperity, the acquisition of golden shards is increased by 50%, which is really amazing for yourself. I think I ended this with like over 10,000 gold and over like 4,000 shards. There are a lot of good cards to upgrade. Then there's slow monsters, monster speed minus one. Double injuries when you receive an injury, receive an additional copy. You don't want this because death door will be a lot more deadly. And then we have more champions where more champions appear on the map. And for the card list this week, I want to thank uh, Stiff Meds in the Discord who does a lot of the ATO modding. They created an automatic system to... Uh, about the cards i'm going to be using those this week and providing links below to each uh character but here's what i got for this week uh just one selection for everybody this week and that's what i ran to get the high score this week the, i got the glacier pack the cryomancer pack after a reroll since these bottom ones are after reroll i know it's a bit hard to see but the, if you click the full images you'll be able to see them fine and then this random pack is the big winner here with this necropotence when you combine that with a, uh... oh, I should get a bigger brush. When you combine this card right here, Necropotence with, with a, uh... where is that at? Icicle Barrage. Like I'll be able to show it in like the first fight. It's extremely good. And then we have Grookly here. I just chose to get him some blunt stuff since we're gonna be working on Chatters and hopefully getting a lot of use out of Blunt and Crack. Where we got Brawler 1, for the Charge and the Bluff, Destroyer, Corrupted for the Wrecking Ball special, and then Random for the Omnipotence because that's always fun to use. It's just like Necropotence but a lot worse. Then we have Zek here with uh, Vampiric Tutor on uh, the Random side, Cryomancer for the Winter Orb. And Maria Frosty has something to ramp her tutor out, and then also Curse of Decay and two minor curses for Vampir Tutor as well. And I tend to build him Curse Mancy in this run. You can do either or. The Muluka, I did a little bit of healing with uh, Shaman after a reroll, Devotee before a reroll, and Zealot after a reroll. Worked out really nicely. You might want to swap this special right here. Or the spark of life if you feel like you need more healing. It's up to you on that voice. Let's go in and do an example draft and probably the first fight as well. Alright, let me go hit that. Alright, so Evelyn was Glacier and then reroll the packs for Necropotence and Cryomancer. And we're picking this cold snap so we can pull back out this blue shatter and double shatter. Alright, we'll do cold, HP, since she's at the front, speed, and then probably ice damage. Alright, Grookly, we'll want to have Brawler and Random, reroll for Destroyer, and pick up the Wrecking Ball. And then we'll go Blunt, Fury, Powerful because you no, know, that doesn't grant it. Uh, speed. Mm, what else would be good here? Let's just go blunt damage so it increases the damage of Wrecking Ball. Just that little bit. Zek, we're gonna go with uh, Cryomancer and Random. Then reroll to Witch. And we're gonna take this Winter Orb. This Curse of Torment's not that bad either, because uh, Scourge is really good. And I think there's music when there shouldn't be. Sorry about that extra music. 
I hope that doesn't get this copyright claim, but that's fine. I thought I had that in the background muted. Alright, we'll go... Dark, cold, HP, speed. And then here, we go with, uh, let's see what I had. Maluka, Maluka, Maluka. Maluka is devotee. We roll, shaman, zealot. And we take this uh, condemnation. We go dark, region, vitality. And I think we're just going to have her be a little more bulky with HP. As for the items, the Sevi Vault is a godsend there. I'm going to go Fishing Rod with Grookly. Seashell Amulet there. And then just for an extra 6 damage, we're going to put Thorns on. Heck. We're going to go up here and do this fight real fast. I'm going to go get the Golden Shards. Alright. We're just going to charge Ground Slam. Or no, Ground Slam into charge. Barbed wire up and put that there. Everything's already half dead, which is good. Slow this down. Here's a fidelity. Spreading out the damage a bit. Alright, so we're just gonna necropotence off the back. Off the bat here. And play four cards. That'll give us ten energy. And we can even double Frost Nova. Look at all this damage we have. And we get Frost Nova. Frost Bolt. Pull back out with Cold Snap. But he lives, but then Betty's gonna die. And there you go, that's the first fight. It should be, give you a hint of how the weekly is gonna go. I'm gonna put clear instructions in there. I think that. Wasn't that a purple. What's that purple prismatic field? And then. Description's kind of fun, but. Pass on that. Just put a steel rod there. Uh, flail here is fine. Max HP there is fine. And then I'm gonna pass on the heater shield. And I think this item shop here is really good, if I remember right, but I'm not sure. But y'all have a good day, thank you for watching, I hope the run goes well, and if it doesn't, let me know, and I'll do my best to help you get to that second floor in the card back. Alright, thanks, and have a good one, and goodbye, peace.